Hi, this is Aaron, and I want to talk to you about vocal training. Uh, first, I want to talk about who needs vocal training. Who needs vocal training? Uh, everybody <laughs> needs vocal training, I think. If, you're, if you want to sing, if you're serious about singing, vocal training is necessary. I th think part of the problem with um, what goes on today is you never really see your favorite singers doing any vocal training. You don't see them doing vocal warm-ups. You don't see them doing their daily regimen. You don't see them in all their vocal training you know, courses or whatever they're doing. You never see this, but pretty much anybody you know that sings is building up their voice and strengthening up their voice and maintaining their voice um, so that it can be what it is. So I believe anybody that's serious about singing needs vocal training. What does vocal training look like? Vocal training has um, a couple of different factors. It's you want to there's the you know learn all the knowledge stuff about about singing, and then there's the exercise part. And I think both are equally equally valid and equ equally val valuable. Um, a tip would be for for example. Uh, when you when you're going to sing higher notes, uh, what you'll tend to do is uh, lift your chin a little bit, or um, or raise your larynx like this, like hey! and your larynx is this guy right here, little Adam's apple. Even girls have it, but it's less prominent. But what happens when you're singing higher notes? Notice it goes hey! it lifts up. Um, there's a way to avoid that, and actually on on my site right now, I've got a a video up there, it's a 10 minute long video all about high notes, this is just a side note, um, how to sing high notes without strain, without lifting your larynx up and actually getting a, a full sound. Because the problem with lifting your chin and lifting your larynx, it actually closes the area for the air to come out and it becomes squeezed and you start straining here. So you want to sing, um, you want to sing the higher notes clearly and without strain. And anyway, the video is how to, how to sing high notes without strain. Um, what else does it look like? Vocal training, uh, voc vocal warm-ups are really important and, and, and strengthening exercises as well. A vocal warm-up exercise I usually say is something that um, like a first or second one you do kind of when you wake up in the morning is just something like a hum, you know, something, a closed mouth like exercise like hmm, hmm, something like that just to kind of wake the voice up and get it going and maybe start going into hmm start connecting your two registers, your chest and your head register. Mm -hmm. You know, just but real slowly because the voice is, it's like a flower. It's got to like open up and then it's got its full tone. You can't just force it open or else, you know, that's when you strain it or can even hurt it or damage it. Um, so that's it for now. I'm, I've got a lot of uh, uh, tips and tricks, a lot of, a lot of articles up there, a lot of good information and videos for you to check out. Like I said, I have that one about singing high notes without strain. So I've got the link below if you want to do it either way. And um, just come over there and I'll see you then.